Hi, pet lovers. Thank you for joining Gina's Grooming Channel. Today's subject is going to be the unthinkable. What happens if we cut a nail too short on our dogs or cats? Obviously, we're not going to demonstrate on a live animal. We never want to hurt an animal, obviously, and cut a nail too short. So what we created for you is kind of this pseudo nail, and we used some fake blood that we put into a little canister. And we're going to show you how to apply quick stop, right? How to apply styptic powder and how to handle a situation when you cut a nail too short. Now I wanna refer you guys to our video on how to clip black dog nails to really look at the anatomy of a nail. Obviously our model does not include the nail. We're just gonna be showing the vein, right? And usually the vein is curving. So there's a curvature here that is not shown with our little experiment here with our bottle. Uh, so please excuse us for our art artistic liberties, um, but do understand the anatomy of a nail. So whether or not you have a black nail or a light colored nail, that is gonna be covering the vein, the quick, right? The blood vessel and nerve that is found in a dog's nail and it does taper down like this again usually it's curved this is straight but it does taper down and when you're cutting dog nails you want to get close to the quick right that vein without cutting it so we're going to zoom in and talk about what happens when you cut a nail too short and how to apply styptic powder now a note about styptic powder this is an antiseptic clotting agent it comes in many forms normally groomers will use a powder and i'm going to show you what that looks like when we zoom in closer there's also you'll see gel gel swabs um, but most groomers are out there using the good old-fashioned powder it really does the job and i'm going to show you how to apply it let's start by looking at what we're looking at inside the styptic powder you'll hear this also referred to as quick stop that is a brand um, so it is powdery. Make sure also in the management of your quick stop or your styptic powder that it is in this powder form um, because you want to make sure that it doesn't clump up. If you get wetness or any kind of moisture in here, it will clump up and it won't do the job. So make sure it stays in its powder form. So, all right, guys, let's do this thing. Okay, here is our fake paw with our fake vein. You have to picture that there is a nail on top of this covering this vein and this nerve, the quick. But we are cutting a nail, so we're picturing it here, and we just don't really know where that vein is, and we're going to cut it short. Now, we're going to cut it short just a little bit right now for the first one to show you what happens if you cut just a little too much, right? And then you'll start seeing that nail bleeding. Now, some groomers can make an accident and cut a little deeper into that, and we'll do that also as a demonstration to show you what happens there. But here you have blood start coming out of a nail and you'll usually see it on the ground of your uh, grooming table right so here's our fake blood coming out of our fake nail vein so how do we handle this we have to pack it with styptic powder what I just do I get in there and I grab a bunch with my finger and what we're going to do is pack it you pack it on the nail and you pack it as much as you need to Right? And you're going to hold your finger on there. Now, this dog might be reacting. You just hit it. It's bleeding. Uh, so we're going to talk about dog reactions and some of the uh, tips and tricks to handle that. But basically, in essence, you want to get a bunch of it. And don't worry. You're going to make a little bit of a mess, especially with the orange ones. Right, And hold it onto where that vein was exposed. So we're going to do even more unthinkable things. I'm wiping off the quick stop here. I'm going to cut it deeper so let's say again the nail is on top of this vein and the dog moves things can happen and all of a sudden you've got a lot of blood coming through and this can happen okay so especially you have to understand that a dog is stressing out now because it's hurt and so now their blood pressure is raising and so now this blood is pumping a lot harder so we have to make sure we use that quick stop right and we make sure we apply it to that vein and we hold it as long as we need to to make sure that it stops bleeding Okay, so doing it on a fake model is pretty easy. Obviously, we have a live animal that we've cut their vein, unfortunately, at this moment. Um, they're going to be okay. Um, but if you cut too deep, too far, and it's not bleeding, that is a veterinary issue. So make sure that you have a veterinary number on hand. Um, what they do is they cauterize it to make sure that the bleeding stops. Um, but some of this bleeding does take a few packs of styptic powder to stop the bleeding, depending on how deeply you cut into the vein. Um, now, this dog is a live animal, so it's going to be reacting. I discussed that the blood pressure goes up because it's in pain so they might be bleeding more while this is happening you have to make sure to stay calm and make sure that the pet stays calm get them into a quiet place so that their blood pressure can decrease and so this can actually stop bleeding but really with styptic powder you're uh, going to be uh, definitely on the way to stop that for most situations unless you cut really deep or unless you have a very high anxiety dog 
Now, a little grooming tip and trick because this is, again, kind of clean or whatnot, but really in reality, this quick stop, right, this styptic powder, it's orangey, so it's going to get on the fur. We've got blood on the fur. This is going to be a little messier than what it looks like here, so let's mess it up a little bit. And I want to show you guys a little tip and trick that we use in grooming to clean up messes, not only that orange powder, but obviously the blood. Okay, guys, here I am. The paw is covered in blood. My hands are covered in blood. There's blood on the table. This happens in grooming, unfortunately. Um, so we just have to be prepared. I want to show you a tip and trick that works really, really well to get this off. Not sure how well it's going to work with the fake blood, but let's go ahead and take a look. Um, so I always carry hydrogen peroxide around. And what this is really great is a nice tip and trick to clean up all this mess. Um, once you know that the blood is dried and clotting, right? So now we've got a clotted thing here. And that hydrogen peroxide works great to do the little touch-ups and to clean up around it. Okay, so then when you're, you're sending a pet home, you're not sending with a bloody nail. Obviously, if you are working on a dog professionally, you have to let the client know that you quick the dog because this can open up at home. Uh, so you wanna make sure that it's packed with styptic powder before you send the dog home. You clean up with a little hydrogen peroxide. That'll give a nice cleanup. Obviously, apologize to the owner, let them know what happened um, and learn from the experience. Well, all right, guys, that's about it uh, regarding this difficult situation, but it is very crucial to know how to handle it if it happens. Uh, just make sure you stay calm, give yourself a break, and of course, make sure that the pet gets extra love um, if you cut the dog's nail too short. Guys, if you have any questions, comments, please feel free to put them down below. We are listening. If you like this video, thanks for clicking that thumbs up. Subscribe for more like it, and we'll see you soon. Thanks.